So these are my sketchbooks. They're used for a variety of things. This is from my daily drawing assignment I did for myself two years ago. I challenged myself to draw something every day for a year. I called it the Teetle Challenge because it was like tea and doodle. And all of the illustrations every day were based on tea, which I love to drink. I am part tea. It was a lot of fun. I have to say it was really hard though too to keep yourself motivated to keep drawing something like every single day. It also helped me a lot with conceptualizing ideas and thinking of themes if you have one overarching idea but you don't know how to express it in only one way. Like I had Starbucks as an empress, as an imperial empress encouraging imperialism because Starbucks is imperialistic but has good tea sometimes. So this is my plein air sketchbook and I use it for just plein air studies or just working with paint. Especially if I'm someone who usually works with pen or ink and ink that's really good but sometimes learning how to paint and learn how to use value and color in a different way, not to define, but rather to capture, is a really effective way of just trying to organize the world through your artistic vision. You can also do some cute little Pokemon stuff. You don't have to. I love Pokemon. But when you start working with nature, you kind of learn the rules of how things work. I also tend to really like working with green. So you'll see a lot of green sketches here just because it's my favorite color. You can also do little cute fantasy or plein air studies of your breakfast. You know what you eat may not look good, but it will taste good visually for the people looking at your sketchbooks. This is what I call my mess up shit notebook. I basically just take my notes in here. So I end up just putting the stuff that's happening every day. If there's a boring lecture, I can just doodle away. It's just really good to have some loose space to just like express yourself with not worrying about what people think. I also put leaves in it, so it has a little ginkgo leaf. And this one, I just tend to be happier when I open it because I know like if I mess up, I'm like, yeah, that's okay. I start my sketchbook the opposite way because I'm left-handed and it's easier to just draw from the opposite side so I don't have the smear marks as I do when I'm in this right-handed world. Just go at it with a pen and just have some fun. It also allows for great medium diversity so you can work with really, really detailed ballpoint pen but then you could also work with very loose brushwork. I really love nature, so I end up taking a lot of um, notes about trees because they're amazing. If you mess up on a sketch, I recommend this tip of just putting another picture on the picture and taping it so no one will have to know. Well, you know now. You can just put stuff in from things you've done. So this photo, or you can just, you know, draw really funny, wacky things you see in the museum. So this is a sketchbook I did during the summer. It was a really good relaxing point of just letting your mind unboggle all the ideas you want to do during the school year, but you really can't because it's the school year. Summer allowed me to just kind of explore ideas with colored pencil. Colored pencil is really good because it's very soft, but it also allows you to do a lot of shading. I think summer is a really good time for you to really explore some weird stuff and um, just you can also absorb um, just weird little notes you take about life. So I took a trip to Venice and I decided to bring my own sketchbook just so I could really record like my own findings and thoughts about the actual country in just one entity. And here it is. You can, some sketchbooks come with these little pouches. Honestly, you can make it yourself or you can just put in like little remembrances of it. It's like a scrapbook, but like without the scrapbooking part, you just kind of put it in there and you're like, yeah, memories. Sometimes we'd go to these really cool art museums, so I made little like cute little sketches of the glass or the beads or just have some like little flaps to hide your sketches to make it a little bit more enticing or fun. I also tended to just sometimes lose myself in my own drawing, so I had a lot of like weird bunny sketches. Museums are great by the way if you want to learn something but also just draw something really cool and save something for a concept you're going to work on later. The door is on Venice, Venetian homes. And they had some really interesting patterns, so I really wanted to capture that. But you can really just go at it ham with your sketchbook. Don't let your experiences be um, limited to what you see. You can take pictures, especially because when we went in Venice, it was really cold. So if I stayed out here entirely drawing this line, I would probably have not have fingers right now. So you can take a picture and work on it later. As long as you get the foundations and learn something from like where you sketch, I think that's more important than getting it perfectly accurate. So this is my summer sketchbook. <laughs> it's like I'm showing different seasons. 
<laughs> like this is my summer line. This is my fall line. 